Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is Adam here, aka Irish World Health. Now we all doing today I'm back with another episode of Subscriber Squad Review. So this is the third week on the throt. And I'm gonna be getting these every week, guys, because you seem to be liking them. One important thing is guys, you do need to keep on liking the videos because I get in views but I just need to kinda reinforce the whole likingness of the videos. But anyway guys, let's go on to this team. So the guys channel as usual will be in the description, so if you wanna go say hi, you can go click on this channel. And before we start this video, I will say, if you want to see your squad feature, do send me a message with the title as Subscriber Squad Review, followed by the type of team that you have. And in the message, please include the link to the team and some talking points about the team, because I like doing unusual teams, but there's some teams I don't actually know anything about. Now, this one, this was one of the original batches from the first one, with the first episode, so people didn't include info, but I thought it's so I'm going to have to do a bit of research on this team. But I have to say, this team... Looks pretty fucking awesome, I'm not going to lie. And they were pretty expensive as well. So as you can see, we the theme of the team is an Argentinian silver team. And they look pretty beast. And you can see straight away we have some informs. So in gold there's a um, guy who plays for uh, Lazio in the Serie A. But then the main guys are, look at this, in Emmanuel Insua. I think that's the one that used to play for Liverpool. 30,000 he cost um, in form. And he's playing at a right back presumably because there's um, basically no one else that's like that good in right back if you know what I mean. Centre backs he has these two guys who seem average enough to be honest but I think in Argentina in general even if you build an actual goal score for Argentina I think the defence is pretty poop on them. Then we have left back we have Morzine or whatever his name is and he's no price on him but uh he looks pretty decent, but left in field we have Rodriguez. Now, Rodriguez, he actually has four-star skills from my research I did with him. And he has 83 pace and 80 passing for a left-back, which is pretty beast. So that's why he's playing him left mid, I presume, because he has that pace. 70,000 is probably where <laughs> where you're getting that kind of comeuppance on the pace. In centre midfields, we have... Bratalal... Blah, blah. <laughs> I can't pronounce that. Batagalia, Batagalia, I think maybe. Sorry, I'm not Spanish whatsoever. I did French in school. Give me a break. <laughs> but um, yeah, so he looks pretty decent. But guys, this guy here is L La Mela. I I think is how you pronounce it. He has four star skills. He plays in Rome. Plays for Roma. Now guys, all these guys here are actually um, th these three players. I think are all actually CAMs originally. So he actually obviously had to move them around to suit the formation. He also is. Gimenez here who's 80 pace, so that looks pretty decent. It's obviously doing well. Like that's a lot of the silver teams you see, guys. They're built around pace. Like people build gold teams around like certain themes. But when it comes to bronze and silver teams, to kind of get the advantage on the other people that have silverish teams, you want to build paces teams. So that's what people generally do. And again, the right midfield here, 81 pace. So that's pretty going to absolutely destroy down the wing. And up front we have another informed player. Ooh, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that one. <laughs> I was like, uh, big enough to him, but I was like, nope, not going to pronounce it. 80 shooting. He has, um, look, and I noticed this when I was looking at him as well. Look at that. 35 goals in 35 games. Wow. That's pretty decent. Uh, 55,000 uh, he did pay from though, guys. He's pretty beast. So we kind of have a look at some of the, um, you can have a look at these, but some of them are, some of these players, I'd say, are unbelievable for silver players. I don't know why that's glitching out that he's the same head that he has. Oh no, there it is. Now it's a fixing. Look at that for a record for this guy as well. 12 games, 31 goals. And again, 500 coins. It's like ridiculous how some of these players are. Like, I remember I put up a video the other day of a really nice goal with Elchino. And someone said, yeah, look, and he's only 300 coins. And you pay like 100k for El Shari. And you get the same thing for 300 coins. So, it's just interesting when you contrast, like some of the value you can get and some you can't we have Di Santo plays for Wigan he used to play for Chelsea I think I don't know if he's gone permanently to Wigan now maybe someone can tell me that in the comments but he did used to play for Chelsea and we have look at this I noticed this as well Boba Dilla 23 games 46 goals that's a that's a 2 to 1 game goal to game ratio again 800 coins that is just ridiculous guys like how can you you can't argue with them stats that is just unbelievable like stats for a team so guys that's the team. Um, the guys' channel will be in the description. Really, really nice team and pretty unusual. You don't see them often. Because if you want to submit your teams, like I said, send me a PM. And please drop the video a like while you're here. So I'll talk to you later, guys. Peace.